Welcome to our presentation of the Fontaine Magnitude 55 MX. This trailer is a modular extendable trailer. It's rated for 55 tons and 16 feet. You know, one of the great things on this trailer, it has the signature Fontaine hydraulic gooseneck. This is different than the competition that uses a pin and plate design. The advantage to the hook and shaft design for us is that you have these large main beam hooks and you have a shaft that runs across the gooseneck. So as long as you can get this shaft under these hooks, whether you're on uneven ground or level ground, you're gonna be able to hook up. With a pin and plate design, that has less play, so you almost have to be perfectly level to get that hook up to work out well. When looking at the gooseneck disconnected, this kind of gives you a great view of how it's easy to connect the Fontaine hydraulic gooseneck. One feature is this V-guide. So when your driver, when he's backing up, if he gets close, this V-guide's gonna guide him in and he can easily attach. Kind of moving to the front of the gooseneck, this gooseneck is designed and set up with a 102 swing radius. The nice thing is you have these brackets on the front that are gonna allow you to put a 23 inch optional flip box on there to achieve a 125 inch swing radius. Also looking, these glad hands are recessed here, as well as your hydraulic connections are recessed in this area to prevent damage when you're hooking up to your truck. In this area, the kingpin area, you'll also see that this is a removable kingpin. So you can easily come in. If you damage this kingpin, you can pull it out and replace it very easily. This trailer is set up with an optional 13 horsepower power pack. Again, this is optional, so a lot of people are gonna run this with a wet line kit in lieu of this. This power unit will run all hydraulics on this trailer. The controls are very easy. You have two controls. Your first is gonna control your frame jack, and your second control is gonna control moving your deck up and down to operate the gooseneck. The nice thing when talking about the frame jack is we use a two-pronged system. The advantage to this system is that it keeps the gooseneck from shifting when you're unhooking and hooking back up to your deck. So it keeps your gooseneck in line. A lot of the competition uses a single prong system, so you have to worry about those goosenecks shifting if you're in uneven conditions as well. Now we'll kind of move back and take a look at a couple additional features. So this is the rack and pawl system. What this does is it changes your ride height of your trailer. So this is a single pawl system, and with this system you get five ride height positions. Each of those positions is going to change your ride height by approximately two inches. The majority of people loaded and going down the road are going to use the second notch down for a typical 50 inch ride height. We also have an optional dual pawl system, and that dual pawl system will actually give you two additional notches in your ride height. Moving to one of the kind of last features on the gooseneck. We use a mechanical locking pin that's located here. The nice thing about the mechanical pin is if it gets bent in the field, you normally have the means on a construction site to straighten it out and utilize it. If you look at the competition with a pin and plate, those are air cylinders. So if you have issues and have something bent, that gooseneck's not gonna hook back up and you're gonna have to wait on parts to get your trailer back up and running. Kind of moving on and talking about the deck, you'll notice that you have these, this kind of front approach ramp right here. They have traction cleat bars on there, so any large track equipment or large wheel equipment is going to go up on here without having issues. If you are loading some low clearance, you can also add a manual front approach ramp with riser that's going to level you up with those hooks so that you don't have a problem catching on those hooks. Kind of looking at this deck, this deck is a 29-foot deck, but because it's an extendable trailer, you can extend this deck to 50 feet. The width of the trailer is 8 foot 6, the main beams in this trailer are not your typical main beams. So on the other magnitude series, your standard 55L and 55H, we utilize I-beams. Because this is a telescopic trailer, you're gonna have a box beam. So what this actually is, is you have an inner and outer deck. So you also see that we go ahead and close this center floor because of that. All of this is two inch apatong, same with our other magnitude series. So it's probably some of the best wood to prevent damage and it's gonna last the longest in the field. Looking at the side of the trailer, you have these swing out brackets. So the swing out brackets are really utilized when you look at oversized loads. The nice thing with these brackets are as well that they're gonna break in the field sometimes, but that also helps prevent undue damage to your side rail. You also have these bent lashing rings. These lashing rings are rated for 10,000 pounds each, so that you have plenty of securement options as you look down the trailer. Also located at the front is heavy duty brackets. So those heavy duty brackets are gonna be located at your rear toolbox when you need to utilize those. So kind of moving to the rear, we talk about this trailer being an extendable trailer. 
So this is the point where this trailer is going to break apart. So it's going to separate your inner deck from your outer deck. It's actually operated by air actuated pins. The nice thing is when you pull this apart, while it extends from 29 to 50 feet, you have numerous stop locations in between so that you can get the right deck length for the product that you're hauling on top of here. You can see as he's pulling forward, we're getting close to the extended position. Now we're in the fully extended position. You'll see nine lock positions visible at the moment. You don't see the 10th lock position visible because we actually have the trailer locked in. So you see this one's listed at 4511. When you're locked into the position that says 48 feet, you're actually at 50 feet. You have 48 foot extended and then you have the two foot rear section at the end of the trailer here. Kind of looking at this modular connection versus a fixed. This modular connection is going to be a heavier connection, but it provides you a lot of versatility. So if for some reason you have other equipment that doesn't need to utilize an extendable deck, you can take this deck out at this location and replace with a modular beam deck, a modular drop side, or a modular flat level deck. Um, this connection also allows you to add 5 and 10 foot deck inserts if you need some longer deck length. Looking at these shims, you're going to have four shim sets come standard with these trailers. This is a half inch shim. You have a 5 8 a 3 quarter, and a 1 inch shim. These shims are going to allow you, depending on your load, to change the pitch of this bogey. You'll need to do that and kind of play with these shims in order to make sure that your axle out equally on your rear axles. The extra shims are actually located in this toolbox area, so you can easily access those. So you can store also chains and binders in this area, and this is actually a lockable toolbox. You'll also see outside of the shims, you also have your double brackets that are utilized on the side of the trailer as well. At the rear here, you have these bolt-on bump-up ramps. The nice thing with these ramps is it helps you take large um, rubber tire machines and run them up onto this wheel area. If you look at the front of this bogey section, you kind of have an unobstructed, there's no cross members in this area. So what this kind of allows you to do is tuck booms in without having to worry about that being in your way there. One of the things optional on a lot of our other trailers, but is standard on the 55MX, is actually this front axle chain lift. So to operate this front axle chain lift, you're going to dump all of the air out of the suspension. You're going to cut these yellow shutoff valves off and you're going to attach this chain up. When you air the trailer back up, it's going to pick up this front axle. Kind of moving towards the, the bogey a little more. These are actually what we call heavy duty bolsters. They're rated for 23,500 pounds each or 47,000 pounds across the pair. You also can add wheel covers to this trailer as well. So the wheel covers are going to add approximately 1,500 total pounds, but they're going to allow you to put any type of machinery up on top of this bogey area. Ride height. We actually use a Hendrickson suspension. This is actually the ride height control valve. So there's five positions to change the ride height of your suspension. Typically, you're going to want to run down the road in the middle position as is set here. But if you need to go over a railroad tracks or under underpasses, you can easily change this valve to a different position. And as you can hear, it's airing down now. Moving to the rear of the trailer to look at a couple of features back here. One of the nice features here is that we have a strobe kit. So you see these amber lights. You can easily activate the strobes by flipping the switch located here in the bogey area. The nice thing as well is that when you unhook from a tractor, if you had to leave this on the side of the road or on a construction site, these lights are going to continue to flash as it has a battery backup. Looking to this side, you have a dump valve. So this dump valve is going to release all the air out of your airbags. You're typically always going to want to dump all air out of your suspension prior to loading and unloading equipment. This is going to give you the safest means for loading. If you kind of move to the other side, you have the airlift third. This is standard on this product. So to activate the airlift third, you're just going to pull this valve and it's going to pick the third axle up off the ground. You know, a lot of people want to do this when you're running empty, get that last axle up off the ground. We have a recessed V-pan that runs the length of the bogey to make sure you can tuck those booms in and get to the lowest height possible when utilizing this trailer. You have these top and bottom brackets so that you can easily add a fourth axle closed couple or it's a three plus one, a single axle stinger setup. You have all of your air and electrical connections as well so that you can just plug and play when you're adding these options onto the trailer. This concludes our presentation on the Fontaine Magnitude 55MX. 
Just to reiterate a couple of high points on this trailer, this trailer is equipped with the Fontaine Hydraulic Removable Gooseneck, which is one of the most versatile and easiest to use in the industry. This trailer is rated for 55 tons and 16 feet. This trailer is an extendable unit, so you have a 29 foot flat level deck that will extend to 50 feet and you have a modular connection so you can easily change out to different decks if needed. This trailer is also built and backed by a brand you know and trust, Fontaine. Contact your local dealer for additional information. <laughs>